Hey guys, so you know those few moments or minutes or hour like right after you wake up when you're just you're just not a regular person. I'm just I'm not a regular person right now. Just woke up and be up the door. That's how I feel right now. Like yeah, I want to go to sleep, but I can't. No, oh, that was weird. Okay, so hey y'all. I wanted to come here really quickly and show you guys something that can add a little bit of extra kick or oomph or, you know, just give your overall general workings a little bit more brain fart because I don't know what, what was I going to say? Every time I get on this camera, you know what, I'm not gonna, this drama today with this camera and the video, it's just not going to happen. We're just going to go through this. So, yeah, starting over without really starting over. I want to show you guys something that you can do to add a um, some strength to your candle magic and your regular magic as well because it doesn't necessarily have to be candle magic. It can just be regular altar workings. Yay, altar workings. Kind of creepy. Freaking myself out right now. Okay, so what I am talking about is um zodiac candles yay for zodiac candles really yay this is what we're gonna start doing we're gonna start saying yay i don't agree with this and i want it to stop now okay okay all right so sorry really embarrassing yeah zodiac candles what's going on with me why is the one not be happening And I promise y'all, I'm not cutting this stuff out of this video. I'm just not. We're going to start over again. And um, we're going to pretend like the first two minutes and five seconds didn't happen. Zodiac candles. I don't know how. <coughs> really? <coughs> Freaking catastrophe. Um, Zodiac candles for the 19th million time. I don't know how readily they are available in your area locally, but I'm pretty sure you can find them online because you can find anything online. And when I say anything, I mean anything and it's creepy. Um, yeah, now, this is normally used when you're doing workings for yourself. However, you can use them when you're doing workings for other people. The only thing is, they have to supply you with their zodiac candle. You cannot go out and purchase someone else's zodiac, okay? So if you're doing a working for someone who lives out of state, then they'll have to get their own zodiac candle. And once they're done doing what needs to be done to it, they have to mail it to you, okay? So don't go and get someone else's zodiac. I'm telling you now, if you do it and everything gets screwed up, it's on you, buddy, because I warned you, okay? All right, so anyway... The brand that I use is Dr. Pryor's Zodiac brand, and that's literally what it says. Dr. Z Dr. Pryor's Zodiac brand. He could have left out that brand. We didn't need that portion. I just feel like <sighs> that was he. Whatever. And it's called a officially a birth month candle. So if you are Googling it to purchase it, it's going to be called a birth month candle. But as long as I've known in my tradition, we call it Zodiac candles. Okay? Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me today, you guys, but um, I'm going to try to calm down for the duration of this video. Okay, so I'm a Taurus, as you can see. Um, I'm a bull. Big surprise. Um, no, let me stop for a second. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know that we have two zodiacs. Two. And then we also have a Chinese zodiac. I don't know if they make Chinese Zodiac candles. Um, I would think that they would because, again, like everything that you can possibly think of to be in existence is more than likely in existence, okay? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we have – so I guess that make, gives us three Zodiacs. I only know two of mine. Yep, that's that's two. I, why, why I didn't do this, two? I don't know. I did this, two. Bull, hello. See? I'm connected. Yeah, so my Chinese zodiac is the rabbit, and uh, my main zodiac is a Taurus. I knew what my other the other zodiac was. I just don't remember it anymore. Um, 
So yeah, but Google that shit. You have multiple zodiacs. Okay. Okay. Um, and actually what that might do, if you could purchase both of your zodiac signs and have that on your altar, I'm assuming that it would help out even more. Why wouldn't it? You know, the more energy, the better. Okay, so I digress. On the back of the candle, it's going to have your um, astrological reading done by um, Dr. Fryer, who is a great numerologist, whatever. Um, it's going to tell you what your ruling numbers are, your birthstone, your color, your oil, as well as your birth root. My birth root is John the Conqueror. Um, it also tells you what your lucky day is, uh, which is Tuesday in my case, which makes sense because Mondays, no, okay? Um yeah, and it's also going to tell you which which psalm you should read on a daily basis. Now, um, if you're like myself, I don't follow the Christian religion. However, the Bible plays a big part in um, the workings that I do because of the psalms. We recite the psalms as incantations, and there are a lot of other meanings um, and belief meanings behind the psalms. So there is literally... Um, a Bible on every last one of my altars with the exception of my prosperity altar for some reason I just didn't feel like one should be there so yeah now so this is how this works say uh, you're doing the working you have your altar going right you have your candles lit you have your incense going or your incense powder whatever it is that you're doing on your altar okay you're gonna take this and you're gonna always be present at your altar always so say for instance you're doing a spell and it's a spell that goes on for a number of days, weeks, months, whatever. If this is something that you do on a daily basis, say you have a ritual or, you know, that you do on a daily basis, this is going to always be on your altar. Therefore, you're going to always be at your altar. So if you're sleeping, you're doing the dishes, you're cleaning up, you're at work, whatever the case may be, and that altar is going and this work is going on in the altar, you're always going to be present at that altar even when you're not at that altar okay so what i like to do is take the old take the candle not the altar and um what was i gonna say take the candle okay you're gonna take the candle and um you're gonna add yourself to the candle and what i mean by that is you're gonna either take some a piece of your hair um any other body secretions you know what i mean if you're doing that kind of spell you freaky um blood and with the whole blood thing if you don't know how to do blood magic and you just see a video and somebody tells you that they use their blood don't go and use your blood because you don't know what you're doing do what the hell you want to do, but I just, I would advise against it. If you don't know what blood magic is and the true meaning behind it and the history of it and it's something that you've been doing or whatever the case may be, I would highly recommend and advise against doing blood magic. Don't just do something because you read about it in this one book and now all of a sudden you are a blood magician extraordinaire. Or you saw somebody on YouTube say that they add their blood. And oh, yeah, because now I do blood magic too. You don't, you don't know what you're doing. Sit your ass down, okay? Um, so, yeah. Add yourself to the candle. And basically, you would do that by how you would normally dress your candle. You know, you put a big hole in the middle or down on the sides or whatever. And you add yourself to it. Now, um, going back to when, if you're doing working for other people. And again, they have to supply their Zodiac candle to you. Um, what they're going to do is get the candle, do the same thing, you toenail clippings, hair, fingernail clippings, um, saliva, whatever. Now, with that being said, for health reasons and, you know, just sanitary reasons in general, if you're handling someone else's candle, Handle it with gloves. Not trying to offend anybody, and you're you're not trying to offend anybody. But hey, you know, in the mundane world, you want to be safe, okay? So you're gonna handle other people's candles with with gloves because they have to add a piece of themselves, okay? So yeah, bottom lip just started itching out of nowhere. I don't know really really know what's going on. It's just always something going on in my life. It's always something going on. Um. So yeah, 
So you're gonna dress your candle and during your working, it's gonna sit dead smack in the middle. So you're always and forever present. And even when my altar is off, and what I mean by that is when I'm not doing anything at my altar, it's either, I call it resting or sleeping, I want to keep a zodiac candle on my altar. That means that I am forever and always at all times connected to my altar. My energy is always there, okay? That just gives you a stronger connection to your altar. And you could be, once you develop a, um, a serious, like this, this really just firm bond with your altar, you will notice that you will be able to do workings at your altar when you're not even at your altar. And that is just, oh, I love it so much. So I can be at work somewhere or just anywhere. And I am so strongly connected to my altar that I can do workings. I can send, you know, one of those type of things. Um, that was so goofy. <laughs> anyway, you can um, send messages and, and signals and stuff like that to your altars to uh, start them. And maybe if you're one of those telepyro people, <laughs> you can light a candle at your altar with your mind. I, I wish I could. Oh, why can't I be one of those people? Um, but yeah, to be serious, you could... Um, you can do workings at your, your altar even when you're not there. If you have that type of connection and that bond, um, you just envision your altar and you envision whatever it is that you need to be doing and it gets it started for you. And then, you know, when you get to it, you can do the actual physical portion of it. So, yeah. Um, another thing that you can do if you're doing candle magic. Now, um, that's when other candles come into play. Play. It doesn't necessarily have to be these type of candles. It can be votas. It can be tea lights. It could, <clears throat> um, it could be uh, chime candles, whatever. Birthday candles, little emergency candles, whatever the case may be. Okay. So how it's gonna work is you're gonna take your zodiac candle or the other person's zodiac candle and you're gonna sit it right there. Okay. Okay. Then um, the other candle that you have you're using and it's been dressed or whatever the case may be is going to sit and touch touch without breaking it's going to touch that zodiac candle okay then say for instance um maybe you start this candle this day and it's levels to it it's levels to the ship so no um that's what i get for goofing off i totally freaking forgot what i was gonna say okay yeah so say you like this candle today and then tomorrow my nail is broken i'm sorry tomorrow it's time to light your other candle or once this is done you know it's you go on to your other candle, but you leave that candle there for whatever reason. I would personally do it because that's just how anal I am about my workings. Anal. Um, so you gotta take your other candle when it's time to get it started. And again, it's going to sit there and touch. Okay. So basically what ends up happening is um you are right dead in the middle of all your candles and they are surrounding your candle okay so yeah and that is pretty much that i hope that helped you guys i hope it gave you some informative information um i'm gonna go now and do other stuff okay bye